Hey guys, so my siblings got into a huge fight today. You know how it is when siblings get into a fight. One is older, one they're always arguing, they're always fighting. It's just part of growing up. So let me go show you. I had to put them in the corner. See, there you go. I had to put them in the corner. You know, this one's yelling because he's big. He's a bit bigger, three lenses. And then this guy's saying, well, he has a better quality lens and a better name brand. So it's like, come on, you don't have to argue like that all the time. Each one does a specific thing. So I put them in a corner, but I guarantee you, they're probably gonna slowly convince me to do a showdown between them. And they already got the tripods ready. So I have a feeling this is gonna get into like a bit of a war. So I don't know. Okay guys, let's give this a go. I have the Ascar 140 millimeter which is a 5.5 inch refractor F7 EQ6. So that will hold it enough. That one I need one counterweight all the way down, one a little bit, a few inches up. And on this corner, we got the William Optics with the 53 lens, 126. So a five inch versus a 5.5 inch. This is a triplet with a 51 glass, one ED glass, which is a lower glass, but it's a triplet. And then this is a doublet, but with a high grade 53 lens. So it should be comparable, although this is also half an inch diameter more. So it will be interesting to see what happens. Is it gonna be, we know that this one is gonna have a little bit more light grasp than that one, but will sharpness be a factor here? William Optics is considered a medium high grade refractor. And the Ascar is considered a new name. I think it is pretty good quality, uh, but is it in comparison to a more higher grade? We'll see uh, name brand, so time will tell. So Saturn is actually very high. It's right there, high enough from the sky. So from all the way up there, it's probably as pretty much almost as high as it's gonna go. I think another hour and it'll be as high as it's gonna go, but it's already passed its opposition a couple weeks ago. So anyway, let's give it a shot. Anyway, you guys predict right now what's gonna happen. Okay, with these two telescopes, I won't be able to use the same power. So I gotta look at my handy book and see what is equal in power. We got this one. Yeah, okay. So, um, okay, here's one. I got a 75 power here with the Ascar with a 13 millimeter enabler and then a 75. Oh, check that out. I just realized this. It's exact same. The focal length on the William Optics is 980 and the focal length of the Ascar is 980. What the deal? Yet? I did not realize that. So if I go, let's start at 54 power, which would be a mid super wide angle, Japan made the 4000 series, 54 power. So we can see low power, then we can jump up to like uh, 200 power and then go up to, you know, something like that, we'll, we'll see. So since it is the same focal length, but because this guy is bigger, it changes the focal ratio of it from F7 to F7.7, but the focal lengths are still the same. So which means in each eyepiece is gonna be the same power too. So that's kind of uh, neat there. So let's start with an 18 millimeter. Another thing too, that uh, is probably better I use 50 power instead of 75 power because I don't have a finder scope on either telescope. So it might be better I uh, use a slightly lower power to find it. And then we can always boost up the power. The EQ6 should track. So it, I should be okay after once I find it. But 
there we go. Wow, that's like literally second and a half. You know what I noticed right away? So I can just tell, when I was doing the test of the two eight inch SCTs, I could tell they weren't as sharp. See, as soon as I look at a refractor, it's just sharper. I can see, you know, Titan on this side. I don't know what that moon is on that side, but I see two really faint ones. Hard to tell. Yeah, you know what, it's okay. It's in the same line as the ring and it's before in the inside of Titan. If you guys are actually familiar, uh, you know, I don't familiar myself with you know, like Titan's moons uh, and, and Jupiter's main moons, except for the four, you know, but um, this one is inside of Titan, say almost halfway. And then the other one is pretty much the same distance as Titan, but on the opposite side. Okay, let's take a look on this guy. Oh, there we go. That took about a second and a half as well. Okay, at this power, it looks exactly the same as that one. It's bright. I see Saturn. Um, I see the one on the opposite side of the planet. I do see the one that's inside of Titan. It looks very similar. I don't know if I would say one is brighter. 54 power, I don't think I would say the 140 is brighter than the 126. No, I, I don't think so. I'm not gonna say that because it, it doesn't really seem like it is. Why don't we jump up to 146 power? Now we started with the Asgard, so let's start with the William Optics. Okay, I just have to move it a little bit up. I don't know if my polar alignment is perfect. As you know, I just guess. Okay, I'm gonna use the fine focus. You know what, both focusers seem fairly smooth, especially the fine focus. But I'm gonna go back and let me touch that one. I think the coarse focuser is a bit better on the Ascar. They both had an hour and a half cooldown time minimum. It's actually up to now. It's probably hour 45 minutes cooldown, so that's plenty. Okay, it looks a bigger, and I can see all three stars minimum. Or moons, actually. And uh, let's try this one. Yeah, I'm going to say both fine focuses on, on both scopes feel like roughly the same, same quality. Okay, I see everything the same. I see Titan, I see that inner moon and then the outer moon on the opposite side. Saturn looks fairly crisp. I don't know if there's any difference on these two. Okay, well, that looks fairly sharp. Yeah. I think I see a hint of surface detail, just a hint. I don't know how good the seeing is tonight. Okay, okay, so I think, yeah. I think, okay, on 146 power, they seem to be like a match. So if I do a two times Barlow, it's gonna be almost at 300 power, right? So 146 times two equals 292 power. Okay, so I think I like that. I think I like that power uh, range. At 292 power, not bad at all. Now, as you know, I've done a video of this guy Saturn, the first time I looked at it this year, it was a few weeks back. I think I could probably say it was a bit better seeing because I think pretty sure the image looked better than this. I do see the disc of Saturn and then you can see the space in between the ring, not Cassini's division that's in the ring itself, the space between the planet and the ring. I just see the hint of that. 
but it is the atmosphere is, is playing because it's kind of throbbing I guess and it's just a, a millisecond if you stay it sharpens a little bit but it's not the most sharpest so I think seeing is not perfect today but that's okay we're testing today so we've got to go by today almost the same yeah I would say it looks let, let me go back again okay yeah yeah the ring I could see that gap again so let me go back okay okay so I see the gap in the rain too. I, I don't know if today with the seeing not being the greatest if we could push it a little bit more. I mean maybe. So let's just see 980 divided by 4.7 equals 208 times 2 no, 417, I think that's going to be overkill on a night that's not perfect. Okay, I'm just going to throw it in and see. Maybe at this power we can see is one a tiny bit fuzzier than the other. Or it's not crystal clear, but I can see now that gap in that ring ever so slightly easier because it's a bigger. Okay, so let's go to here. Okay, again, it's a good view. Oh, what the hell? Oh, a plane just went right in front of Saturn. I just saw a flash go like, of course, I'm not recording, but, uh, but I'm really zoomed in. At 417, it was literally like a, a split second. So I thought maybe a, a meteorite or a meteor or something like that went through. But uh, as soon as I looked up and saw the plane. Okay, guys. So here, uh, the first part of the video was done about a month and a half ago. Yep, you heard me right. A month and a half ago. And uh, back then, Venus was probably just rising. Saturn was a good position, but Jupiter wasn't. So let's give it a shot and see what is better on Venus and Jupiter. So, I believe the focal length of these guys are very close. So I think it should be fine to use the same eyepieces. So let's start on the Venus before it goes down. Okay, low power, just looks like a little tiny quarter moon. And uh, remember guys, it is nine Celsius out here which feels like minus 15, which is about, I think it said five Fahrenheit. So it's extremely cold today. I don't know how the seeing is, but um, I think this one has to go a little bit higher. Okay, I found it. Okay, I need to move it a tiny bit. So I'm gonna say the low power looks the same in both. Okay guys, so let's go up to a 4.7 millimeter ultra wide. This is about 147 power. Okay. Is close by. When you jump really extensive power, it might not be in the field of view. Okay. Okay, that's a nice image. I mean, Venus is extremely big and bright. So 147 power is pretty good. Okay, that looks good. Nice and sharp. Let's try the medium optics. Okay, I still say it's a tie. Okay, we're gonna do a two times Barlow with it, giving us 292 power. The focuser on the Ascar is much nicer. Okay. And on this one, you know, I really can't tell much. Practically 99.9% .9 a tie on Venus. Today might not be the perfect uh, seeing condition night, so that could be the thing. Okay guys, let's go on to uh, Jupiter, which is nice and high in the sky. Okay, low power, I'm gonna say it's a tie again. Let's jump up to the 4.7 millimeter. We should start to see some difference very soon. 
Okay. That's pretty good. That's much better than last time. So maybe because Jupiter is a bit higher this time. Hmm. Both of them have been cooling for, I would say, about an hour and a half. Okay, this is a very nice image of Jupiter. The edge is on Ascar now. Jupiter does look sharp. Okay, we're going to push the power to, I believe it's... Uh, I think the seeing is not great today because both scopes are producing average, average uh, images. You can't tell at all. It's only only had a couple clear nights uh, the last like four to five weeks, so I'm going to take whatever clear night it comes. Okay, guys. So the conclusion is today, or a month and a half ago when we did the first part of this. I would say it was a tie in on Saturn between these two telescopes. Now I would say it's also a tie on Venus a month and a half later today. On Jupiter, the small and medium power is a tie. But once you get to the high power and the really high power, then the Ascar does win it. I would say it's not by a whole lot, by about 10. 10 to 15 percent. It's not a huge, but it's not minor, minor. There's a little bit of difference. Um, you know, that could be because of its larger aperture. It collects more light. It actually has more, a little bit more resolution. Of course, it would be good to do it on a perfect scene night, what the difference would be. But on today, on these subjects, and Jupiter is actually a good uh, test. Okay, guys, that's it. Hopefully, you guys like that. So, it actually is kind of good because most people would consider the William Optics to be a medium high grade name and with the double edge 53 lens is a high grade uh, lens and on here even though it's a triplet they're using a 51 triplet so I would say name brand wise this one wins uh, but as far as like how the quality should be it should be I tie a 51 triplet should be equate to about a 53 double -edge. So um, it's still doing pretty good. But let's say I, I don't like to focus as much, but maybe I can make it more softer. But this focus is a lot better. Even though this is a huge focuser, I think it's a 3.3 or 3.4 inch uh, focuser. Um, just it's it's just not so buttery smooth. Where this one is miles ahead. And I guess that's why William Optics their focus is big and heavy duty can carry lots of load they also had the option if you wanted to go to the feather touch three and a half focuser but I think the upgrade was a thousand dollars but if you buy it on its own you know you're looking at 1200 before tax like 1400 Canadian so anyway guys that's it uh, I see Orion is coming up now that's it for now anyway guys like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys on the next video if you know anybody getting in the hobby or maybe on the forums or would like to see a comparison like this, then um, you can share my channel with them. Why not you? Why not me? And remember, I also have members video and a lot of the videos of these type of things will go on there. Okay, so why don't you go on there and take a look.